So treatment for Fabry disease, there are two FDA approved uh, agents that are on the market. Um, the first I wanna talk about is uh, the, the brand is Fabrazyme. Uh, and Fabrazyme is uh, basically the, the enzyme that we're talking about, the GLA alpha gal enzyme that is deficient. Fabrazyme is a version of that enzyme that you infuse every two weeks. So it's um, for the lifetime of the patient. So it's, it's, it's a big time commitment and it's, it's a difficult patient choice to take as well. That's one product, it's Fabrazyme. The second one I wanna talk about is Galafold. Galafold is a brand and Megalostat is the, is the generic name. There are some percentage of Fabre patients where the defect is not in enzyme production but it is an enzyme that is produced, but not secreted. So what Galafold does is takes this, it's a chaperone therapy where it takes this, this product, this enzyme that's made, but not secreted and takes it out to the cell where it can be secreted. There are very small percentage of Fabry patients that have this, this defect that is amenable to Galafold therapy, um, but, but the other only other approved therapy right now is Fabrazyme which works for all, all the patients, all patients. There is a lot of research in Fabry disease that's ongoing. Um, that's one of the bright spots in Fabry disease, to be honest, for patients, they're always looking, looking at figuring out what's the next thing that can help. Um, one of the crucial therapy options is gene therapy. Now, gene therapy in Fabry uh, is still in trials. It's not really proven. I mean, it's not FDA approved for sure. But I can give you a broad overview. There are different ways we can insert this GLA gene into the, into the body. And various researchers are looking at different ways of doing that successfully. And the hope is with gene therapy, you're, you're cured, right? You, no more infusions every two weeks, no more pills forever. And that, that hope is, is very powerful. Outside of gene therapy, there are other enzyme replacement therapies that are being looked at as well. Um, for example, um, there is a product that uh, the name is PEG unigalicidase alpha, where you, there, it's a pegylated form of um, enzyme that, that lasts a lot longer in circulation and hopefully will not need as many infusions. Um, but it's, it's one of the things that we're very excited about. Thank you.